Hello students, we meet here again for another Dr. Communication and Networking course. So I am Dr. Shari Fauzi Kamazaman, present to you another chapter which is on Module 10, Basic Router and Configuration. So I appreciate all your commitment up until my course so far. So uh, hopefully for those who haven't subscribed, please do subscribe my channel and I would appreciate if you could drop by uh, some likes in my videos and uh, hopefully you can stay on my uh, course up until the end of the content so I would like to express my appreciation my thank you for all of your attention for all of your interest in the video hopefully this video can benefit you guys okay, can benefit you all in your studies as well so today our course will be a uh, basic router configuration. So so far we have uh, conducted some switch and uh, module two we conducted some switch configuration. So router configuration will not be that much different except that there are several new things, okay, extra things comparing to what we have inside the router. Okay. So let's take a look at the initial router settings first. Okay, so basically, when uh, you want to configure router, it's actually the same as what you do with the switch. Okay, you need to have a configuration. Uh, you have you have the privilege mode, you have the user mode, and you have the privilege mode. And when you want to in enter the privilege mode, you have to put in enable. Okay, and then you want to 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 enter configuration you have to put in configuration terminal okay and then here in this case if you want to change host name okay you have this host name what name you want to do okay you want to put password and enable secret and then what password you want to do and then also line console line bty okay every security protocol here is as much as the same as what we did in module 2 and the switch basic switch configuration okay so all of this okay is capable of being done in the router as well okay so so here this is an example okay of a basic uh, configuration in this case you see that this router the, the person administrator is uh, going to do something with the router let's check a look what they are doing it okay so here we have for router one he's changing the host name into r1 so it means that this one is changed to r1 enable secret class means that they are, they are enabling the secret password which is class and then we have here line console zero means that he wants to configure line and password cisco this one in this line he put he inserted the password cisco with, and then he log in and then he he uh, changed into line VTY 024. He changed the password as well. Same thing, Cisco. And then he log in. And then, okay, he put in transport input SSH telnet. Okay, so the input is uh, transfer into SSH and telnet as well. And then, is it? And then, service power encryption. They, they encrypt all the password. And finally, they insert the banner MOTD. This is the banner. Okay, uh, so they insert the banner in case when next time you want to configure, okay, we'll show this banner. Okay, so once it finish, it exit and copy run the config. So the copy means that he saved all the configuration that has been done uh, up here into the memory of the router. Okay, so in order to configure the interfaces, okay, in this case, okay, you have to follow a certain command. Okay, in this case, you have interface, okay, type a number, which interface, and then you have a description, what kind of description you want in the interface, the IP address of that interface, the IPv6 address of the interface, and no shutdown, means that it will activate it immediately. So, example of an interface, in this case, okay, in this case, we have the R1 to configure, Okay, and we have interface G000. So interface here is a, some sort of connection source, okay, of R1. 
So you have this R1 had a two connection, okay, G000 and G001. Okay, the interface of G00 means that all the things in the uh, in the left part of the router, G00 part of the router, is considered as one network. So router usually they can have a lot of IP address. This depends on the interfaces, how many interfaces that a router has. Okay, if you have a router that usually have one interfaces, so they will have one IP address. But in sophisticated routers, usually they have a lot. They have 16, 32, even 64, 1 to 8 interfaces within a router. So they, each of the router, each of the connection hole, okay, they have an IP address designed for them. So in this case, we have interface the gigabit at the net 000. In this case, okay, so description is linked to LAN. So this one is linked to LAN. IP address, okay, 192.168.10.1255255. So this is subnet mask, and this is the IP address of this G000. It's not the switch, it's not the PC, it's the router itself in this connection. Okay, so and then you have IPv6 address here, shown here with the prefix down here, and no shutdown. Okay, exit. So usually when you assign an IP address for a router that within a network, if in this case you have this 192.168.10.0, okay, the IP address of this router usually is a part of the IP address of this network because you know if it's not in the, the same network, you will cannot get a connection to it. So in this case, it must be within this network. So usually they choose a few last digits of the network itself. Okay, so once they are shown here means that this one is already activated and stored inside the R1. Okay, so next we are going to configure the right part, which is G001. So in this case, okay, so this one is a link to R2, this is the connection to here. So the IP address for this link is this one. Okay, the IPv6 here, no shutdown exit. You see, you have two different IP address based on the connection itself. So, to verify the interface configuration, show configuration, use the show IP interface brief and show IPv6 interface brief. So, you can type in show IP interface brief, meaning that all the IP, the, the, the connection that has that IP address. So, you can see all of this. Okay, uh, you can see all of this within your router. So means that all of this they had an IP and they are up. Okay, or everything is fine. So in case of PVC also they have uh, interface like this. So in order to summarize what we have here, okay, for router usually we have this one: show IP interface brief, show IP route, show interfaces, show IP interfaces. So IPv6 interfaces. So this one is designated just for a router. So each of them has their role here. I think you can read it here by yourself. So no need to for me to read it for you. Is here. Okay. So okay. Continue next. So and then we have okay view status of all interfaces. Okay, with the show IP interface brief and show IPv6 interface command. Okay, like this one. Okay, show IP interface brief. Okay, you type in here and then here. It's PV6 interface brief. And also, you can see the routing table based on show IP route. Okay, you put in show IP route. This one, 192.168.10.0. Okay, so this one is directly connected gigabit internet. So you have C, you have L. Okay, and then you have this one, C and L. So this one, I will explain soon. Okay, so this one representing the connection that has related uh, has been created with the router. Okay, so displaying uh, the statistic. Okay, so in this case, okay, we are displaying the statistic of the show interface by show interface. Okay, so this one, if you type in show interface, okay, gigabit zero zero zero. In this case, all the statistics involved in the network can be seen here. Okay, a lot of things that you have in within this interface. Okay, so and then you have at the IP interface. 
Okay, the IP interface that involved within a interface, okay, like in this case G000, you can also type in show IP tickets G000 and can be seen in, in this photo here. Okay, you can try this by yourself later on. So this one in case of IPv6. Okay, so in order to configure, oh, I, see, I forgot uh, the slides involving this C. Okay, and L. So C, okay, and L, okay, usually they represent, so basically the C and L is the connection type, type that you have between this uh, router and also uh, the address that is connected to it, the connect network that connected to it. So based on the type of connection, you can see, okay, another lot of more symbols here. You have even S, you can sometimes you have E. Okay, so this one, I, I forgot most of the commands, but uh, some in case of uh, S, they are static, okay, and C means that they connected, okay, so I um, quite forgot what uh, represent, but you can check it later on, okay, so, okay, so that's, oops, okay, next uh, we take a look at Okay, configuring the default gateway. So, in order to configure the default gateway, okay, basically what is the default gateway? So, the default gateway is used when a host sends a packet to a device on another network. Okay, so the default gateway address is generally the router interface address attached to the local network of the host. So, default gateway basically the interface that is the connected to the router within the network. So to reach PC3, right? so remember in this uh, figure here, you want to reach from PC1 to PC3, okay? PC1 addresses a packet with the IPv4 address of PC3, but forward the packet to the default gateway, okay, G000, and the, the, the router will configure into G001 and send it into the PC3. So a switch must have a default gateway address okay, to configure to remotely manage the switch from another network. So to configure an IPv4 default gateway on a switch, use the IP default gateway and the IP address of the default gateway and the global code in the global configuration command. Okay, so basically the default gateway, if you have two types of network, okay, different IP address involving, okay, not connected to each other, so the router help you attach these two network through it, okay, and since they are connected to each other, you can send it this way. So usually, this is considered as one network, and this one is another network, okay, same PC within a PC, they can they can ping each other, but they cannot easily ping another PC. So this is a part of the security as well. So I think that's all for this chapter. Okay, for module 10 also, it's not that long. Hopefully, okay, you can understand what I'm teaching you guys. So in case there are any questions that you have, okay, if you are my students, you can put it uh, inside our Google Classroom platform. Okay, I'm happy to filter all the questions within our the YouTube video and I will keep some of the good questions in the YouTube video you can ask in the YouTube video as well so that's all for today hopefully okay you will continue with my course thank you for subscribing thank you for all the likes uh, hopefully you guys stay safe okay stay safe and stay at home and stay study during the pandemic season and I'll see you guys in my next video so have a nice day bye bye